Hello all of you. Uh, as this feast of Our Lady of La Salette comes to an end, I wanted to uh, pray with all of you and share with you a quick reflection. Um, the first is taken from lasalette.org and the second uh, is from uh, aim, aim Higher. My baby's here. And he's ready to pray with us as well. Uh, I will fi finish the reflection with the renewal of our act of consecration. The Feast of La Salette from lasalette.org Originally given as a homily on September 16, 1998 by Father Casista. As we stand on this mountain, we allow ourselves to experience deeply a sense of anticipation, of preparation, of waiting. We sense a something, a someone, a strange and powerful presence, urging us to be silent and attentive, to look and listen, to wait and to allow the desert atmosphere of the mountain to prepare us, to purify us, to empty our hearts of all concerns so that our hearts may be open to that which we desire most deeply, but which we probably cannot even name. Yet name it we must. It is important that we try to name and identify that deepest desire within us. In this month of September, we know that event took place on that mountain. We know that we will be reminded once again that we are indeed loved, cared for, infinitely and unconditionally, that we have been unfaithful, yet we are still loved. We know today that we will be called once again to change, to renewal, to conversion, and reconciliation with God, with ourselves and others. We know that the event will invite us to enter into fuller life, freely and willingly and an invitation to pray. Let us take the following days to pray that the messenger, the message, and the mystery will touch us as deeply this year as they did the visionaries and the villagers of La Salette in 1846. In the coming days, therefore, let us pray to Our Lady of La Salette. Come, messenger of God. Come once again to speak to us of our need to hear the good news that we are loved. Come, speak to us again of our first and only real love. Come and speak to us again of our need to believe, to hope, and to recommit ourselves in gratitude and love. To the love, or sorry, to the God who came, lived, died, and rose, that we might have life and have it to the full. Come, messenger and prophet of God, to tell us once again that nothing matters so much as the mystery of God's love for us and our love for God and our sharing that gift of love with one another and with all God's people. Come, speak to us again, even if it is in tears of pain and suffering, that our hearts may be touched deeply by your care and concern, prompting us to respond with in greater faithfulness and gratitude and love. Amen. St. Maximilian Kolbe, this is taken from Aim Higher, Part 1, Chapter 7, Number 11. What is unrestricted love of the Immaculata? The Immaculata is so joined with God by love that she rises not only above all the saints, but also above the angels and archangels, the cherubim and seraphim. Therefore, unrestricted love of the Immaculata raises us up even to her and unites us in a love above that of all the angels and saints. She is the nearest to God, and we the nearest to her, and hence through her the nearest to God himself. God has given us that white ladder and desires that we climb up upon it to reach him. 
or rather she, holding us close to her maternal breast, brings us up to God. But these are only pictures, resemblances, analogies. Reality is incomparably more beautiful, more sublime, divine. So let us finish now with a prayer uh, taken from our Militia Maculate booklet. So pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, Son and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Man. Immaculata, uh, Queen and Mother uh, of the Church, I renew my uh, consecration uh, to you this day uh, and for always, uh, so that you may use uh, me for the coming uh, of the kingdom uh, of Jesus uh, in the whole uh, world. To this end, I offer you all my prayers, actions, and sacrifices of this day. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you, for those who do not have recourse to you, especially the enemies of the Holy Church and those who are recommended to you. Amen. O Immaculata, please intercede that the church may be a beacon of light for all those who wander in darkness. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless all of you.